In our last video, we covered the foundations of cyber attacks on critical infrastructure. This week, let's take a closer look at the specific methods attackers use to compromise these vital systems. Supply chain attacks are among the most dangerous tactics used against critical infrastructure. By exploiting vulnerabilities in third-party vendors or service providers, cyber criminals can gain indirect access to protected systems. These entry points, such as routine software updates or maintenance tools, allow attackers to bypass frontline defenses and potentially compromise essential operations including power grids, transportation networks, and water facilities. Next, insider threats remain one of the most challenging risks to critical infrastructure because they involve trusted individuals with legitimate access. Attackers often exploit this trust by manipulating employees or contractors through tactics like social engineering, bribery, or coercion to gain access to sensitive systems. Unlike external attacks, insider threats often evade traditional cybersecurity defenses. Because the activity originates from within the organization, it can bypass firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and other perimeter protections. The result? A single insider can open the door to severe disruptions, data breaches, or even physical harm by compromising critical services like energy, water, or transportation. Then there's malware, malicious software designed to disrupt, damage, or gain unauthorized access to systems. A subset of this is ransomware, which encrypts files or entire systems, locking out operators until a ransom is paid. What makes ransomware especially threatening to critical infrastructure is its ability to bring essential operations to a standstill. Hospitals, power grids, fuel pipelines, and water systems can be paralyzed in an instant putting public safety and daily life at risk. Attackers often target critical infrastructure with ransomware because these organizations are more likely to pay quickly. The urgency to restore services, especially those that affect public health or national security, creates immense pressure to meet demand, even if it means millions in ransom. As we've seen, cyber attacks on critical infrastructure come in many forms. What makes them so dangerous isn't just the sophistication of the technology, it's the real world impact they have on lives, essential services, and the stability of our daily routines. And while you may not work directly in the critical infrastructure sector, the effects of an attack can still reach you. That's why understanding how these attacks happens is essential. No matter your role or industry, staying informed helps you recognize threats, reduce risk, and contribute to a more secure and resilient future for all.